Hello. So there is currently a trend in comedy referred to as first world problems. That is to say, the problems that we run into as a spoiled, technologically driven first world society. Ergo, in the third world, places, you know, some areas of India, some areas of Afghanistan, they don't really have gasoline, indoor plumbing, things like that. So, first world problems. The following is going to be one of the most first world suburban problem stories you've ever heard, ever. So there I was, getting ready to take a video with my HD camera of our new car so that I could post it to my YouTube channel for our, our uh, you know, daily video series here that you and I are enjoying. Lo and behold, the neighbor decides to fire up his riding lawnmower and disturb the quiet that I require in order to take a video. So I go inside to my air-conditioned home to complain to my wife and say, hey, you wouldn't believe what just happened. The neighbor just started up his doggone lawnmower and now I can't take my video. She looks me in the eye and says, well, why don't you start up your doggone lawnmower and mow our grass? So I'm like, okay, no problem. Unfortunately, being in the hurricane belt, I am currently on a gasoline cycling mode and I only have enough gas to put about a third of a tank into my lawnmower. And I think surely I'll only be able to mow for a little bit before I run out of gas and have to make a gas run. I cycle because I like to have fresh gas, like absolutely fresh gas out about every three months or so. And I usually keep quite a bit of gas. Well, quite a bit of gas, that is to say, enough gas to operate my generator for at least two days and then for perhaps another 10 after that, just to, you know, pump water mostly. After the first two days, you need to work out all the stuff that needs refrigeration and get rid of it and get off of a refrigeration-based diet. So, you know, so you need only enough gas to pump fresh water after that and store it. Anyway, as I was saying, only enough gas for a third of a tank of the lawnmower. And I'm cutting the grass, and I'm cutting, and I'm cutting. I'm like, oh, surely it's going to run out of gas. Surely it's going to run out of gas. And I'm cutting, and I'm cutting, and it's still going. It's still running. I usually never have to refill. I can just, I just put, I top the thing off, and I mow until it's done, and that's the way it is. So I'm cutting, and I'm cutting, and I'm cutting, and I'm cutting, and I'm thinking, oh, man. It is the rainy season. I mean, am I, how far am I going to get before I run out of gas here? You know, but that thing's still cutting and cutting and cutting. And eventually it gets to the point where I'm thinking, okay, here's what's going to happen. This thing is going to run out of gas when I've got like three more passes left to do. And here we are, you and I, making a gas run. You know what I'm going to do though while I'm making this gas run? I think I'm going to go inside and grab maybe a six pack of Blue Moon for the wife and a six pack of I don't know what for myself. And, uh, yeah, and then it'll be all right. And then I'll. Maybe, maybe take in some suds after I get done mowing. But what a pain that I had to stop with just like three swaths left. Three swaths. Enough to where if I had a gas-powered uh, weed trimmer, I could have done the gas-powered weed trimmer. But no, mine's electric and I don't have a long enough extension cord to make it to where I left the swath. Now I did consider making the swath to where the electric uh, weed trimmer could reach. But I didn't. I just kept on mowing because I figured, ah, oh, surely it'll be out of gas on the next pass. But... <laughs> there you go. Daily dose of lamb dog.